One of the most common things that you will have to do when you are building a web application is to implement a web page for logging in or to sign in, right? So I'll show you how to do that with Vadin. Let's start by creating a new Java class for the login view. And that's going to be a route. And let's be explicit and say login here, right? That's uh, optional, but I like to be explicit uh, with the routes. Now let's stand, uh, extend um, a composite. Composite of vertical layout and the constructor, what we can do. Or one way of implementing a form is just by building it yourself manually. So we can create a new uh, text field here for the username and a new password field for the um, password and, and so forth, right? So that's one way of doing it. And it's very uh, customizable and you can do whatever you want to do with the login view in this case. But another way to do this is by using the um, login form class in Vadin. So we can create a new login form here. Um, and with this, you have all the controls already. So let's compile these and see how it looks like in the, in the browser. So of course, the only view we have right now is login. And uh, so there you go. So you can type your credentials there and click login and you'll have to implement the the, the logic to, to perform the actual authentication right uh, now we would like to center that right so let's try that uh, let's try to do that um, to be more explicit to make it more clear let's assign this to a variable this is the layout so layout that first let's center on this uh, direction the horizontal direction that's uh, uh, set align items and then you specify center here and that should center the form in the view in the view or horizontally right uh, now in the other dimension first you need to make this sizeful and then you can tell it to uh, justify the content in a certain way so we are going to use center here as well and so with that you have the form center and you can uh, uh, start implementing the rest of the uh, of the logic now there is another way to do this so uh, instead of uh, using here vertical layout and by the way this is just one way of doing it you can uh, you can still use vertical layout and do some more stuff here but i'll show you a very quick way of doing this so uh, there's another component which is uh, called login overlay right and so in the constructor what we'll do instead is uh, so if we get the content that's going to be a, a login overlay right but this is since it's an overlay it's something that appears like on top of the of the view uh, we need to open it so set uh, opened true let's compile this and now as you can see you have a more uh, sophisticated if you want uh, form it's pretty cool because it adapts to the to the size of the viewport so if you're uh, visualizing it from a tablet for example then it would look something like this or a phone will look something like that oh so it's pretty cool um, now you can customize some of this stuff so in fact you can customize a lot uh, uh, of these uh, in this component but let's uh, let's change this these two strings there so um, first I'd like to change the title let's say this is a business app and then we can um, set a description uh, manage your business or whatever you want to put there right so with this um, you'll get uh, those strings over here uh, you can customize uh, a lot of things here but uh, let's uh, leave it like that for now uh, now how how do you handle these things if I click this forgot password button nothing happens if I click login you'll see that this is marked as required 
and then I'll have to type something and same with password once I click it it gets uh, disabled so we need to add a uh, listener for this action and the way you do that is let's actually do it over here uh, is by adding a listener and there, there are several listeners so you see here for example the uh, forgot password listener and you have the login listener so it's, it's these uh, two actions that you have in the form this of course has an event and then you can uh, implement um, any kind of logic here for the um, authentication so you will call a service or something like that and I actually uh, recorded a video on how to implement uh, authentication so you can combine these with with that video in that video I used the manual process of creating the login view or the form uh, but if you're interested in how to implement actual uh, the actual um, authorization or authentication and and, and also authentication uh, logic then, then uh, you'll find a uh, link to the video in the description of this one um, but let's uh, try to do something here so once we click that button we're going to execute this code over here right so what kind of things do we ha have uh, to do well we'll need to check the um, the username and the password that you get from the event object so let's do something very simple you should again move this to a service class or another kind of object and don't do it like this like with if else uh, obviously you will have like a database or something where you store the the credentials of the people who have registered or that you have created in the for the application let's say we want to um, use user if user equals event to get username and let's say we don't care about the password right now uh, then we should do something right we should navigate to a to a view um, else if for example the uh, uh, the username was uh, admin then you will have to navigate to another view and so forth right uh, but if not then you have to show something a notification or something like that let's for now let's just show a notification uh, so wrong wrong create the initials or whatever right uh, so when you click this this is required this is required and now now it's executing that part so we know this is kind of working at least this part is working uh, now to show you how this works you will have you probably will have several views but at least one view for the user right user view and this is going to be a route as well user stands let's just stand uh, extend the vertical layout in this case it's a right for this demo let's add something here so we can see that we're in the correct um, view welcome user all right now for the admin view we'll have something pretty similar so uh, admin view and you'll have we will have to do something uh, different here so let's call this admin view just to see the uh, the difference um, a bit better now when we are here we want to navigate to um, to that view so we can we can use user or the other way you can do it is just uh, uh, navigate using the name of the class right so admin view dot class don't mix the on the the options like that just uh, uh, stick to one style um i just wanted to, to show that just in case uh what else do we need to do here okay so if we try that let me show you this so if we try this code right now so if I go to a uh, user for example and the password doesn't matter what it is logging uh, it kind of okay first we need to uh, I probably need to restart this it picks the um, the changes let me use this option instead
And so if we try this application again, user whatever it goes to welcome user. So we know that this this part is working, right? So the problem with this is that that um, of course well, let's try admin just for fun, admin view, right? If you go, if you see the, the, the views that are registered, I could access those no matter what, right? So you need to secure those those views, and, and I explain how to do that in the in the video that I mentioned before, and you can find a link in the description, all right?